हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ माइंड मैप टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कोल बेड मिथेन इन दिस सीरीज वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज कोल बेड मिथेन हाउ इट इज फॉर्म्ड पोटेंशियल इन इंडिया प्रोसेस ऑफ एक्सट्रैक्शन चैलेंजेस एंड कंसर्न्स इन एक्सट्रैक्शन बेनिफिट्स ऑफ कोल बेड मिथेन एंड वे फॉरवर्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट इज कोल बेड मिथेन कोल बेड मिथेन इज मिथेन ट्रैप्ड इन अंडरग्राउंड कोल सीम्स This type of methane can be accessed using drilling techniques similar to those used in the collection of shale gas. In these deposits the methane is attached to the surface of the coal. Generally the seams are also covered in water which must be pumped out to obtain the methane. Coal bed methane is considered an unconventional gas as it is held tightly in reservoirs. it requires special stimulation and technologies to produce it economically methane or ch4 is the main component of natural gas so extracted coal bed methane can be used as natural gas now let's understand how coal bed methane is formed coal bed methane forms at the same time the coal forms as organic material dies and is deposited in swamps or swampy lakes the material undergoes bacterial and chemical changes to create peat deposits over millions of years this peat gets buried under many layers of sediment the pressure and temperature of the peat increases gradually the peat turns into lignite or brown coal then sub bituminous coal then bituminous coal and finally hard anthracite coal while coal is being formed The decomposing organic material produces methane gas along with nitrogen and carbon dioxide. With the pressure of being buried under sediment, most of the methane stays trapped on the surface of the coal. Now its potential in India. India has the fifth largest proven coal reserves in the world and thus holds significant prospects for exploration and exploitation of CBM. The CBM resources in the country are about 92 trillion cubic feet that is 2600 billion cubic meter in 12 states of India. In order to harness CBM potential in the country the government of India formulated CBM policy in 1997. CBM being natural gas is explored and exploited under the provisions of Oil Fields Regulation and Development Act 1948. It is administered by Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Total predicted CBM resource for awarded 33 CBM blocks is about 62.4 TCF of which 9.9 TCF has been established as gas in place. The Gondwana sediments of eastern India host the bulk of India's coal reserves and all the current CBM producing blocks. Although it tends to be more difficult to access Then conventional gas coal bed methane is becoming a significant energy source. Now moving on to process of extraction. The extraction of coal bed methane is similar to the extraction of shale gas. A steel cased hole is drilled into the coal seam and the underground produced water is pumped out through tubing. These wells are often drilled horizontally to gain access to difficult to reach coal seams. Removal of produced water helps reduce the hydrostatic pressure within the coal bed causing the gas to be released from coal surface as production occurs the change in pressure alters the porosity and permeability of the coal bed the recovered gas is sent into a natural gas pipeline or air compressor system after the coal bed methane gas is removed the coal seam remains and can be mined later on Now let's have a look at the challenges and concerns in extraction. Disturbance of the lands drilled for coal bed methane and its effect on wildlife habitats results in ecosystem damage. One major issue in trying to extract this kind of methane is amount of water that must be removed from the coal seam. The pollution of groundwater and runoff is a major concern. In CBM extraction Water is produced in large volumes and must be disposed of safely. Another concern is the increase of methane in the atmosphere. Atmospheric methane has been increasing at a rate of 1% per year during the past 15 years. Although accessing coal bed methane does release methane into the atmosphere, some argue that the production of coal bed methane actually reduces 
methane emissions by removing the gas that would otherwise be released during coal mining. Benefits of Coal Bed Methane Coal bed methane emissions represent a potential source of energy. The recovery and use have benefits for the local community as well as the global environment. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions since methane is a very potent greenhouse gas, providing a valuable source for clean burning energy. It can be used to generate electric power or as an alternative fuel for vehicles and other industrial or commercial applications. Enhancing mine safety by reducing concentrations of explosive gases within the mine. Providing additional revenue to mine operators when the gas is captured and sold. In 2018, the Union Cabinet relaxed the rules for Coal India Limited to extract natural gas lying below coal seams to boost production. CIL accounts for over 80% of India's domestic coal output. Now lastly, let's discuss about the way forward. According to the Central Mine Planning and Design Institute, CBM can be used for power generation as compressed natural gas or CNG for auto fuel, as feedstock for fertilizers, industrial uses such as in cement production, rolling mills, steel plants and for methanol production. Thus, methane from CBM is an environmentally safe and clean gas. It would help in increasing the domestic gas production and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But measures like environmental impact assessment and cost-benefit analysis should be adopted and implemented carefully before looking at CBM as alternative fuel in the long run. Now moving on to practice questions. First of all, prelims question that was asked in 2014 exam. With reference to two non-conventional energy sources called coal bed methane and shale gas, consider the following statements. One coal bed methane is the pure methane gas extracted from coal seams, while shale gas is a mixture of propane and butane only that can be extracted from fine-grained sedimentary rocks. Two, in India abundant coal bed methane sources exist, but so far no shale gas sources have been found. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. You can send the answer of this question in the comment section. Now moving on to mains question. What is coal bed methane or CBM and how is it formed? Discuss the challenges associated with the extraction of methane gas from this source. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.